Hey, lovely people, Cardi B has officially declared war on Offset. So if you will fucking talk to an and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again, and she'll be like, wow. Accusing him of using her for money and being a serial cheater. The plot thickens as Offset is allegedly caught in the act once again, this time with none other than Nicki Minaj, leaving Cardi furious on multiple fronts. In a bold and unapologetic move, Cardi B isn't holding back. In the aftermath of Offset's latest infidelity, she's claiming back everything she ever gave him. According to media takeout, Cardi B drained Offset's bank accounts, removed all her money, left him with scraps. The Cardi B and Offset drama is heating up and it's about to get real ugly. And let me tell you, it's a jaw-dropping list. From wealth to jewelry, cars, and a whole lot more, Cardi is on a mission to reclaim every expensive token of affection she bestowed upon him. Y'all are going to need to get a chair for this one because Cardi just put Offset on blast for embarrassing her and stepping out on her once again. But are we really surprised? I mean, it's Offset and he's definitely known to cheat on Cardi. But for him to allegedly link up with Nicki Minaj, I mean, that's a new low. This whole mess started just a few days ago when Cardi went on live to make it very clear that she had dumped Offset after Blueface accused Christian of hooking up with Offset. Cardi was unusually calm in her live and revealed that she had actually separated from Offset a couple of months ago. I've been single for a minute now. I know today has been an eventful day. I don't pay mind to none of that. Like, I don't I don't care about none of that. I don't want you to put me none of that. I don't know if y'all been getting clues from me for my live. I mean, I don't know if you guys been getting clues from me for my lives or for my stories when I put some certain music or for my own followings. When it comes for today's events and stuff, I don't know if it's true. I don't think it's true. I don't care to find out because I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, I'm not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world. But I feel like today has been like a sign. Like I've been, the last time I got on live, I kind of wanted you guys to tell you, I kind of wanted to tell you guys, but I didn't know how to tell you. So I was like, I changed my mind, but it has been like this for a minute now. And I was just, I just took it as a sign. So I want to, I want to start 2024, like fresh, open. I don't know. I'm curious for a new, for a new life, for a new beginning. And yeah, I'm excited. New look, new life, new everything. So I've been wanting to tell you guys for a minute. I don't know how you guys haven't gotten the hint, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know if today, what happened today is true or not. I simply don't care because I just been doing me, focusing on me, focusing on my sh I told you that I've been going so hard for 2024 to go directly as I wanted to. I feel like in 2017, um, I was single, and that's when I worked the hardest. Cardi sounded real chill about the whole breakup, and it looked like she was taking it well and accepting it for what it was. However, just a few days later, she went on Twitter and started going off on Offset. She said, Offset, you A, B, and trust me, I'ma take it there. We'll try you when you're at your lowest and most vulnerable time. You out here feeling yourself, but trust me, them tables turn. She also went on an explosive rant on IG and had a whole mental breakdown while talking about how awful Offset has really been treating her. She accused him of using her to support his career and always doing things to make her feel insecure. After this very emotional rant, a lot of people thought Cardi got triggered because Offset was spotted with Jade. Now, for those of y'all who don't know who Jade is, she's actually one of the women who Cardi sent her crew to brutally jump after she caught Offset hooking up with them. Cardi pled guilty in court to third-degree assault and reckless endangerment in connection and got sentenced to 15 days of community service. Cardi now has a record because of Offset relentlessly cheating on her all the time. This is why a lot of people think she had a meltdown after she saw the videos of them still kicking it, even after she caught a whole case because of her. Someone posted the video of Jade at Offset's party with the caption, Child, it looks like Offset was with Jade last night or in the same place. You can hear the DJ say Miami, let me see you in the video. Then she posts in hotel rooms and herself in the same dress from last night at 7 a.m. this morning, shaking my head. However, 
Jade was not interested in being tangled up in all this mess, and she left a comment under the Neighborhood Talks post that read, I was out eating at a public restaurant. I was not at that weekend party. Now, leave me the F alone. Now this is where things got really interesting because while all this mess was going down, some fans noticed that Offset was all up in Nikki's comments, leaving a bunch of hard eyes under her recent pictures. A lot of people started to speculate that the person Offset cheated on Cardi with might have been Nikki and not Jade. See, before Cardi came into the picture, there were rumors of Nikki and Offset dating on the low. He was leaving thirsty comments under her IG posts and always showing up to every event she was at. But once Cardi blew up and the whole industry turned on Nikki, he hopped on the Nikki hate train and went for Cardi. In fact, around the time that Offset and Cardi got back together, Nikki threw shade at him in her verse on Katy Perry's Swish Swish, in which she rapped, Silly rap beefs just get me more checks. My life is a movie. I'm never Offset. Me and my amigos, no, not Offset, Swish Swish. All I got them upset. And if you remember, Cardi mentioned in her IG Live that Offset has never even thanked her for everything she's done for him. A lot of people probably feel like Offset went back to Nikki because Nikki is now doing better than Cardi again, and he isn't getting much from Cardi anymore at all. Word on the street is Offset's been trying to get a feature from Nikki for his upcoming album. This is a hot, sinking mess. And let's not forget the time that Cardi was caught on camera looking through Offset's phone and seeing a very seductive photo of Nikki in his gallery. After the video got leaked, Nikki put on her petty boots and posted the exact photo that Cardi got caught looking at on her IG story and added the caption, she sees my sexy every time she scrolls. She then dissed Cardi again in her verse for Pop Smoke's Welcome to the Party remix, where she rapped, keep it real, you really mad cause your baby dad used to like me though. I ain't F him cause I ain't want him. Told him take a hike like a hiker though. So as y'all can see, Nikki and Cardi have been going back and forth over Offset for some time now, and it looks like it's nowhere near close to being over. In fact, Nikki seemingly fueled the rumors when she posted a meme of Michael Jackson on Twitter, while Cardi was having a meltdown around Offset cheating. The Michael Jackson meme was actually a reference to Offset recently getting a tattoo of Michael and making an entire music video inspired by Michael. One thing Nikki's going to do is throw some shade in the most clever way possible and have you gagging. Cardi caught the shade and she clapped back in a tweet that read, take your man to a park and leave me the alone. I'm really 100, today is not the day. Cardi was making a reference to Nikki's husband, not legally being allowed to be close to kids or anywhere near kids because of his criminal record. Child, this is not a good look for any of these grown adults. Cardi is really over here having a meltdown in front of millions of people for a man who has made it his life's mission to cheat and embarrass her every chance he gets. And Nikki is also being petty and poking her nose where it don't belong. And Offset, as always, is being a clown. Now, as usual, people had their own two cents to say about this, and they didn't hold back, like this person who said, Offset grabbed Cardi B up when she was on the rise as a business move. He got hotter because of their relationship and marriage, just like Jay-Z got hotter with Beyonce. He's been playing her and gaslighting her through the net. She's got to take her power back, not cry the truth. Another person said, Offset can now officially stop pretending he doesn't like Nicki Minaj. Offset, welcome home. But now I want to know your thoughts on this whole mess. What do you think about Offset allegedly cheating on Cardi with Nicki? And do y'all think Cardi is finally going to divorce Offset or will she end up going back to him like she always does over the years? Y'all know what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.